everybody and welcome back to my channel if you've not been here before hi my name is dora it's lovely to meet you and if you have been here before hi are you that bored that you've come back again maybe now today i was thinking we're going to do some pink eyeshadow we're going to do a bit of pink eye and it's going to be amazing i almost said lit then it's not going to be lit because no one says lit anymore for this video, I actually went onto Instagram and asked you guys if there was any questions or any information you'd like to know about me or any of my makeup. And I've got quite a lot of questions here. So what I'm going to do is throughout this makeup tutorial, just answer some of your questions, give you a bit more info into the life and times of Dora Laborde. One of the questions I got asked quite a few times was about my skincare. Now I've spoken a little bit before in my videos about I've had quite a difficult relationship with my skin. It's been pretty up and down over the years. I used to have really bad acne when I was younger and this meant that from a, quite a young age I was wearing a lot of makeup because I wanted to cover it up um, and now I feel like I've sort of got on top of my skin I like to use products that are either base for people with oily skin oil control or therefore sensitive skin I use my Cetaphil cleanser that's just from Boots um, every morning because it just reduces those oils it gets all the dirt out of my face then next I go with my Ola Hendrickson toner if you haven't tried Ola Hendrickson products I know they're a little bit expensive but I promise you they are so worth it I never really knew that toners did anything like I trained as a makeup artist we obviously used toners while we were doing facials and things but this toner has changed my life the difference this has made to my skin is incredible another thing that i use on my skin and this is prescription so i'm sorry you can't just buy this stuff over the counter but this is zinert i think that's how you say it Z zinert i don't know but i have tried absolutely everything under the sun to get rid of my spots and to sort of control um my acne and my breakouts and this is the only thing that has even gone close to sorting my skin out honestly without this stuff my skin would still be absolutely awful so to the doctor that prescribed this to me after years and years of <laughs> having antibiotics and the pill and all random stuff thank you so so very very much then next is my moisturizers. Now you've seen me before in my videos using this. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Body Balm, but the second moisturizer I really love, and this was actually recommended to me by my mum's friend, Tracy. So if you're watching, love that. Um, this is the Child's Farm Baby Moisturizer. And it's the one with the little duck on the front which is quite cute and I use this on my hands because I get quite bad eczema on my hands and I also use it on my face and neck and I find it really helps with any sort of dry patches that I might have although I've got oily skin I've also got quite dehydrated skin so using this which is really soft it's vegan it's cruelty free and I, I really love this stuff and Tracy that was great it's really sorted out the eczema on my hand as well so it's a good job you're a nurse because you know what you're talking about much love and respect my biggest tip with skincare is to wash your brushes. If you are an avid makeup wearer and you have a lot of bad spots, obviously there are hormones, there's lots of things that play into that, but washing your sponges and your brushes and getting an antibacterial spray, a little bit like this one, will just help make sure that what you are using is clean. So while I answer the next few questions, I'm gonna start prepping my eyes and starting my eyeshadow. As we said, we're doing pink today, so it's really important to do a really thick base on your eyelids because otherwise that is going to stain and you're actually gonna look like you've got pink eye. I'm gonna use the Revolution Conceal and Define to prep my lids and I'm gonna make a really nice, thick, sticky base. It's gonna be well cute, love it. The question that I got quite a few times was about my confidence and how long I've wanted to do YouTube and how I make my videos and things like that. I did how long I've wanted to do YouTube. I uploaded my first YouTube video when I was about 12 or 13. And at the time, obviously I was in high school, people ripped me, absolutely ripped me for doing that. They used to quote it in the corridors. And I, although I've always been confident and anyone who's known me anywhere throughout my life would say, I'm probably one of the most confident people they have ever met. It actually really damaged my confidence when I started uploading to YouTube the first time because I was so worried that people were looking at me for the wrong reasons. At least if I was confident and acting, people were looking at me because I was good, but with makeup, I never really had as much confidence. And I started doing them again when I was about 15. And I remember, um, again, I was in high school still and I started doing some face painting and some body art because I was really into that at the time. And again, I got a lot of people making fun of me basically. Now those videos are still up, but 
that took a lot of balls from me to keep those videos up because it was it was stressful and it was hard because what i really wanted to do and what i really enjoyed doing people were really taking the piss out of me for it um but you learn from these things, I think. And people have been saying to me for sort of the last couple of years, because I always do little vlogs and things on my Instagram and always rant about stuff. People have said to me for years, I should be making YouTube videos. And it's only now when I'm almost 21 that I finally got the confidence to think, you know what? Who cares? Who cares what anyone else thinks? No one would be mean to me because we don't like when people are mean. Thank you very much. Bullies out there, we don't like you. And you know who you are. You know if you went to my school and you took the mic. You know who you are. You made me stronger, bitch. So for my eyeshadow today, while we're chatting away, I'm going to go in with Morning Glory in my crease with just a nice fluffy brush. And this is quite a suggestive name of an eyeshadow. Another question I got asked quite a few times about was to do with what I've been up to in quarantine. Now, obviously, I have been doing makeup which has been really fun, but I've also been learning guitar, as I've said before, and I've been reading the Harry Potter books. I'm currently on the Goblet of Fire. I'm halfway through. I have watched all the films, but I just never really got into the books. My sister was really into them growing up, but I just never, never really got it. Um, it, it was never really my thing, but now I'm really enjoying them. Then once I've got that Morning Glory colour laid down, I'm going to take Milkshake and Mr. H and just blend out those edges. The next question I've got is what I would recommend for dry and cracking lips. I don't know if it's because you will think I've got dry and cracking lips, but either way, um, I would always recommend something that's a little bit medicated. So something like Carmex or Blistex. I love Blistex. I think it's the best. It obviously gives a white cast to your lips, but we can forgive that if we've got lovely succulent lips for kissing everyone outside lockdown. And we're just really playing about with this makeup look today. If at any point you feel you've gone too far, just take a bit of your face powder, blend out those edges, you'll be absolutely fine and dandy. The next question I was asked is probably my favourite question from all of them, and that's what is my favourite meal deal? Now that, my friend, is a very easy question. I like a very boring meal deal. I like a Boots meal deal. I don't like the Tesco's rubbish. I don't want anything else. I want a meal deal from Boots. I want it to be £3.25 and I want the most basic food you can imagine. My top meal deal is an egg and cress sandwich on white bread unbelievable then a sprite or a another oh actually no that's a lie i like those naked drinks that are like two pounds and you feel you're really getting a steal by having them in the meal deal and then i also like a packet of either monster munch crisps and pickled onion which is very smelly i know and also um the prawn cocktail crisps from walkers oh love them Another question I got asked was my favourite subway and again i'm sorry my boyfriend will tell you this is a very smelly section when I ate tuna, which I don't anymore because I worked at the Sea Life Centre and can't stomach eating any fish anymore, but it was tuna mayonnaise with cheese with onions, olives and tomatoes and so many onions in there that you could smell onions on me for weeks. I was like an ogre. Shrek. Onions have leers layers with a slightly smaller brush i'm just going to go in with a mix of mini and muse and darken up that crease packing that in there I'm bringing that about halfway into the crease the other thing i got a few questions about was about my favorite makeup so where was my favorite makeup from what is my favorite go-to makeup brand those sorts of questions which i thought was really funny because actually in all of my years playing about with makeup i've never actually had a favorite brand i think because all of the makeup i bought as a child was with my pocket money i never really got the chance to just buy loads of high-end makeup obviously as i like grew up and got a job and started prioritizing buying makeup over anything else I could buy it then but because my mum and sister weren't really into makeup I never really I didn't really play about we had like I remember the very first bit of makeup I had was an Avon bright green eyeshadow and an Avon mascara that had glitter on one end and black on the other end and I wasn't allowed to wear mascara until I was 13 and this mascara with the glitter on I was allowed to wear to parties which obviously I love and that's sort of my early early memories of makeup but I'd probably say that my, if I could have everything from one makeup brand and just use that, it would probably be NARS because I, their foundations are just 
absolutely incredible. I ran out of mine about a month ago and I just never rebought it because it's a, it's a commitment buying a new foundation, you know? I've got all my pinks now. I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of sort of dark black mixed with a little bit of purple just on this lash line to darken it up even more. Okay, lovely. So now we've got all of our pinks down, we're going to take our Spectrum A16 brush and just cut our crease with a bit of concealer. Now I've got another lovely person asking me what my dream job is. I think my dream job is to travel and act. I would love, love, love to act in a job where I could see the world as well. But realistically, what I want to do when I grow up is have some lovely babies and see the world and I do love doing makeup and I do love to act but I love babies and beaches more you know and once we've got that half moon shaped carved out on our lid I'm just going to go over it and pat it in with that brush then going back in with those dark colours I'm just going to re-intensify them here by the lash line for my lid space, I'm going to take a nice fat little little snubby brush, a little snub brush in the colour Milkshake, which is that really pale pink, and pack that all over the lid. One of the next questions that I got was about baking my face and why I do it and uh, if I do it and do I think it's important. Now, it really depends what final sort of look you're going for. The reason I do it is because as I say about a thousand times each video, I do have very oily skin. So by going in with with that powder, I just know that it'll last longer than five minutes. Next question I got was about my favorite palettes and what sort of palettes I really enjoy. Now mine sort of fluctuate. I really, really like having palettes that are quite multifaceted, that have a lot of looks within them. So the reason that I really enjoy using the M M Mitchell palette at the moment is because it has those cool, those warms. It's got every colour that you could possibly need to make a makeup look. And it does look quite scary when you hold it sort of up together. But within that, you've got like a brown and a gold, which you could use. You've got a black and a dark brown. You've got warm colours. You've got really neutral colours and you've got beautiful, beautiful shimmers. Um, and, and that's how, how you know you've got a good palette, I think. I think this is a proper makeup artist palette that can be used by absolutely anyone. And they're such big pans as well. And they're so pigmented. I think they're just fab. Absolutely fantastic. But I also really, really like like the Urban Decay Naked palettes. I think they're fantastic, especially if you're just starting out. Then just while I'm here, I'm gonna go in with one of my fair or oh, why am I always like this? I'm gonna go in with one of my fair kickback going everywhere. Don't do this at home, kids. Don't blow on your palettes. It's ditty, ditty, ditty. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the colour muffin, which is this colour here. Um, and it is, it looks quite sort of non-appealing in the palette, but can you see that? Can you see that shift? It's got a lovely pink and blue shift to it and it's just stunning. This is a royal mess, absolutely a royal, oh, I've shit, I've put my finger in the black. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little paddle brush and in that color muffin and just highlight my inner corner and underneath my brow. Next for this eye is a bit of black gel liner just along the lash line, and then I'm gonna wax some lashes on. Okay, so I'm just gonna tight line my eyeball with a little bit of black liner. And then I'm gonna pick my lashes. So for my lashes there, I'm gonna go in with these big boys down here and I'm just gonna trim them to size and stick them on with my latex free lash glue. I've actually only cut off the smallest bit on these outer corners because I think they're such a lush lash, don't you think? They're so glam, love them. A tip that I've got for very cheap lashes like these are, if you just wiggle them at the band and bend them into a bit of like a, an oval shape, you'll get them to stick a lot better on your eyes because um, they won't be so straight as they were in the packet. I'm not gonna lie to you, I think that was the easiest lash I've ever applied in my entire life. Every time I use one of these Amazon lashes, I think I'm never going back to Eyelure. I'm never doing it. I'm never spending more than four pounds on lashes ever again. And that is a promise that I will not stick to. So I'm sorry about that. But anyway, um, I'm just gonna go off camera and do my other eyeball and then I'll be back.
Okay, we've done both of our eyes and we're back. I'm just gonna pop on some of my Good To Glow from Rimmel Primer. I'm just gonna pop that on with the Spectrum 001 brush. Then I'm going in with my Big Fat Booty Blender, sprayed with a little bit of my anti back Did you see that? Did anybody see that? That just weed itself, it just went Nice. And because I'm a boozy ass, uh, I'm gonna take a mixture of three foundations today. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty foundation that my friend Daisy bought me in the color 210. This stuff is incredible. I love the Fenty foundation. And then I'm gonna mix that with a bit of um, my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour hold. Now, because I'm using about a million foundations, I'm actually gonna uh, mix them on a palette today. So I'm just gonna take one pump of the Fenty, half a pump of the Maybelline in the color 10, then half a pump of the Maybelline in the color Warm Sun. Oh, they look like little Easter eggs on my face. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy bloody Easter. No fighting. No. So next I'm going in with my maybe a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the colour 10 underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose and just on my upper lip. I'm taking my Revolution Foundation Stick in the colour F13 just to bronze up my skin and I'm taking my big boy beauty blender just to blend that all in and buff it all out. Now that all my cream powders are buffed into my face I'm gonna go in with my lace setting powder from Revolution and bake underneath my eyes down the sides of my nose and also along that jawline. And then just taking that same powder on my powder brush from Unicorn Cosmetics I'm gonna buff that all over my skin to give myself a bit of an airbrush look. Then I'm taking my very well-loved Revolution Bronze and Glow Palette with my Spectrum CO7 just to bronze up my face. Another question I got asked a few times was, one, how old am I? And two, how many siblings I have? Now, I wasn't expecting sort of questions about me personally, but that makes sense that people would want to know like more about me. Um, I'm coming up to 21. My birthday's on the 22nd of May. So I think I'm going to be spending that in lockdown, which is a bit sad because I was planning on jumping out of a plane for my birthday, which of course has been cancelled. So I won't be able to do that now. Um, so I'll probably just have a cheeky little G&T in my little little house and spend it with my family, which is still nice, but obviously it's not the big birthday bash that we were all hoping for. In regards to siblings, I mean, I technically have five siblings. I've got a half brother called Ruben, uh, a sister called Rose, and a stepsister called Brianne, and two stepbrothers, Benj and Chris. My little brother sent me a message asking who my favorite brother was. Obviously he is my only blood brother so oh, has anyone seen that show that show is amazing it makes me cry and then once i bronze my face i'm just going to go in with a little brush and just contour my nose so to do that i'm just drawing two lines that come into a little point and then i'm drawing a little circle at the end to make it look a little bit more like a little button nose rather than my very large leghorn nose and next for my blush i'm going to take my ted baker blush palette in sweet dreams and just take a mix of all of them and swirl it across my cheeks I think it's so funny looking back like people always ask about me wearing makeup at school and did I wear makeup at school now I started wearing a full face makeup probably about the age of 12 or 13 and it always sort of made me laugh because we used to have these big assemblies about who was wearing too much makeup and we were still in school and we needed to remember that and it wasn't professional um and all of this absolute rubbish and I understand that in some respects they were trying to get us all to love ourselves a bit more but in other respects it was really limiting our self-expression but it always made me laugh because i never got in trouble i used to wear thick black eyeliner every single day some days all like bright pink lipstick none of the teachers would ever mention it and i don't know whether if it's because like i was on school council or, or whatever but i just never got in obviously i got in trouble for the length of my skirt did you even go to high school if you didn't get in trouble for the length of your skirt but um yeah, surprisingly, I never actually got in trouble for my makeup, which is funny. Finally, for my highlighter, I'm going to take the colour Muffin that I use to highlight my inner corner on my Spectrum B08 brush and just take that on the high points of my cheeks. Look at that. Oh, oh we love it. Um, another question I got asked was, is there any makeup I'd really like to try? Now, there is always makeup I'd really like to try. I've never tried anything from Huda Beauty. Um, I would really like to try some of their stuff. 
Another brand that I'd really like to try a bit more of is Jeffree Star. Now I've got one of his liquid lipsticks and um, I've got his Androgyny palette, but I don't have a, like sort of the um, the Blue Blood or any of those sorts of things. And I just like to try them. Whatever you think of Jeffree Star, I just, I really like the concepts of the palettes and I like that they're sort of bigger and, and bolshier than a lot of makeup companies, which I really like. And then just over the top of that highlighter, because if you can see, it's got quite quite a strong pink shift to it. I'm going to go in with my Revolution palette and take a bit of striking and animate just to bring a little bit less of a cast and add a bit more of a shine. Oh, God, yeah. Woo! My little shiny, shiny nose. My mum always used to say to me when I was in school, she always used to, when I, come home, she, when I came downstairs, she'd be like, Dory, you've got a bit of a shiny nose. Have you been sweating? every day we love that from kate to finish off our skin i'm just going to go in with some of those pink shades just underneath my eyes so i'm just taking milkshake and mr h just gone ahead and added some bottom lash mascara and my little freckles that i always do with just a bit of brown eyeshadow and i'm just going to quickly go off camera and fill in my brows now we've got our eyebrows on i'm just going to go with my lip liner from primark in the color toffee and just line my lips and then after I've done that, we've got a few different options. I was thinking of taking my Jeffree Star Liquid Lip in the colour Doll Part, but I don't know if it might be too pink. Should we try it? Let's try it. Mm. I immediately don't like it. I know it's sort of a look, but I just think it might. I look a little bit like a Disney villain. I'm just taking some of Thrill Seeker from Primark and uh, popping that in the mix. Then finally for my lips, I'm just going to take a little bit of my concealer and just pat that in. Okay, we've popped some hoops in. We're all bish bashed and bosh. We're all pink. We're all Gucci. We're all loving it. Now, just before I go, I'm going to answer a few more questions. One of them was whether I was going to campaign for makeup to be in the next Olympics. Adam, are you mad? Are you crazy boy? Another question I got asked is what is the first thing I'm going to do after this lockdown is over? And I think I'm going to go on holly bobs. I want to go to the Maldives. I want to post pictures of my bum in the sun on holiday in one of those bungalows and I know it's a big ask and I know that I need to be realistic but god can you imagine being in one of those right now oh god I can't imagine I just want a massage I want the sunshine and I want to spend it with the people that I love I'm with my family at the moment which is fantastic but my friends and my boyfriend I just miss everybody so much so it will be so fantastic to finally be able just to go and give everyone a big fat squeeze and give them all a hug. I've got some fantastic pals. I've got people sending me cards that make me want to cry. I've got people sending me lovely messages. Um, and even the fact that everyone supported me so much doing this makes me so happy. We're having posy vibes. We're bringing good juju into the room. And yeah, so that's it. That brings us to the end of the video. I wish you all a lovely day, a lovely lockdown, and I hope you all get out in the sun today. And remember what you're grateful for. Think of yourself, think of your talents, think of positivity. I love you all very much. Bye.